Hi there, I appreciate you stopping by today and today we are going to be making a PNG file using Canva. So Canva is a graphic designing platform where you can basically design anything like it says in here. Um, so what I need to be doing today is a bathroom sign. Um, we recently renovated my daughter's bathroom and I thought it will use it could use uh, like a vintagey sign in there so I'm gonna go ahead and click on create a design on here by the way I'm just using the free account for Canva you can definitely use or um, go with a paid subscription but um, for me free is actually working right now in time I'm going to be uh, using like I'm gonna try the pro version of it because I know it would give me a lot more features Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and custom dimensions. That's what I'm gonna pick because I know my dimensions for the reverse or for the canvas. Canvas actually I bought from Dollar Store and I'm just gonna do a reverse canvas with that using my Cricut. So that's why I wanted a PNG file for it. So I know my dimensions are six by nine and this one in here you have to click on inches because it's defaulted to pixels and since i measured mine and it's in inches i'm going to do that and then create a new design and it's going to give you a canvas so my design is going to be saying like fresh soap and water um 25 cents and then hand towels are free something like that <laughs> something vintagey old old style okay so if you hover onto the left side in here you're going to see all the um features that they have in here, all the commands or all the files and everything else that you can use. Um, I am going to be using just the text box and adding a heading on here. And then I'm gonna say fresh and my caps is on, of course it is. Let's do that again. Fresh, put that over here. And I'm going to change my font. You go over here. And I know that my font that I picked is Great Vibes. So I'm going to change that. To make that bigger, just uh, drag this. And put that in the center-ish. We're going to do... I am, Well, I am going to be fixing all the spacing and everything later on. I just wanted to put all my wordings in here first. Okay, so I am going to say... Now I'm going to need my caps on. Soap. that over here and I know the font that I wanted for that is Aprilla bold okay and then and then I'm gonna do that again for the water part so copy and paste that I'm just gonna change soap to water okay move that over here and then I am going to do a subheading it, the, the good thing about Canva here because they have different sizings in here already so if you want to do different sizes in here you're gonna do that or you can actually pick whatever they have already formatted for you but since I'm going for a really custom look I wanted to do my own and now I'm gonna type in and and it didn't go so I'm gonna do it again Jeez. all right so I'll put that over here and change the font again. I know um, that was Bass Bakery. Yeah, make that bold. All right, so I am going to make that bigger again and then maybe just do like that. Yeah, just make it a little bit like that fresh soap and water and then <clears throat> I'm gonna put like um, just another subheading in here saying caps on hand enter towels uh, free yeah looks good put that over here on this side here uh, do I want to change this font um, yeah let's uh, change that I want it a little bit thicker um, 
I have already gone ahead and actually browsed through the fonts that I wanted, so I know exactly which one it is. Okay, that one there. Looks good. And now I need to add the uh, 25 cents. Okay, so 25. I put that on there. Actually, I need to make the heading for this one because just so it's bigger. Put that over here ish. Okay, that's good. Now I need to change this to say like old, old script or something. Yeah, old standard. That's one I wanted in there. Yeah, I, want, I was looking for the loops like that. So it's more vintagey looking. Um, what happens if I do bold? It's going to be fatter. Yeah, that's better. I like that one. Okay, so uh, I am going to put that there. And then I just need to put in the sense subheading maybe. And that one is just a small letter. Oops, I only needed one. Maybe let's do the same font for this. Yeah, good. Okay, so I just need to move that over here. I need to put a line for the scent. Okay, so for this one in here, I wanted to separate this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and look and click on elements. I'm going to look for shapes where it says lines. Um, I'm going to look for one that can actually just separate it. And like I said, you can find everything in here that are, uh, most of the ones in here um, are paid subscription. But if you hover over it, you're going to see the ones that are free. Once you see the crown, that means that it's a paid um, subscription one and you can't access that. Um, but I think this is the one that I want to see. This is the one that says pro. Um, uh, it's not that I don't want to support them. It's just that I don't have funds to support them right now. That's just what it is. But otherwise, I would definitely want to. Okay, so uh, it's hard to make this straight. Okay, so that one there. That looks good. I just need to move this over here. So, so basically, um, oh, I forgot the the line there for the sense. Okay, I am going to do another text. Da -da -da. Subheading. I'm going to do that line. And put that over there. Okay, so basically I am done with it. I just need to play with my formatting and everything. Oh, I just need to make this. I want to make the S and the W bigger. So I'm going to say S. Copy and paste that and then just change the soap to just say S. Oi. Okay. So I'm going to move that over here. Copy and paste that again so I can change it to W and change the water in here. Delete that. Okay, put the water over here. Move that a bit. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so you basically get the idea of how to do this on your own. And now, let's say you're happy with your design, you're just going to go ahead and download it. And see, it's um, already telling you to save it as a PNG. So you're going to go ahead and download it, and it's going to save it into your um, downloads folder. And then you're done. Okay, so this ends this video. I'm going to do another video of how I actually did the reverse canvas with the Cricut. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.